does retitrutide give you energy? Well, this is a great question because uh, retitrutide in and of itself will not give you energy, but can it enhance your energy? Actually, I think there's some reasons why it could, and we'll talk about those. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you that retitrutide, maybe after the first couple of weeks of being on it, may actually just increase your energy. But I'll also talk to you about the risks, some of the clinical studies that are going on with it, and what this revolutionary treatment and molecule can actually do for you. So by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how retitrutide can shape all of your energy systems. You'll know who it's for, who it's not for. I'm Reagan Archibald, founder of Ageless Future. For those of you looking to optimize your health, make sure you go to agelessfuture.com, reach out to my team. We'd love to help people just like you access the world's leaders in longevity medicine. So retitrutide. Does it give you energy? Let's go to the research. Here's a study, Retitrutide's role in appetite suppression and energy balance. This was done last year, 2024, and it was a 16-week study assessing hunger, caloric intake, and energy expenditure in participants administering retitrutide. Dosing ranges from two milligrams to eight milligrams weekly with close monitoring of appetite and metabolic changes. Most of the dosing that I prefer, especially for myself, is one milligram to four milligrams at the higher end. There's dozens of participants. It was peer reviewed and there was a control group, you know, which is the placebo control group is part of this trial. What they found in their conclusion is participants had notable appetite suppression and approximately 25% lower calories were consumed in the first four weeks. Energy expenditure increased by roughly 12%, supporting enhanced fat oxidation. And so fat oxidation is one of the great ways that this peptide works. Early energy dips were attributed to the lower food intake, but energy levels improved as metabolic adaptation occurred. Proper nutrition supported steady energy and metabolic flexibility. So does it help with energy? Well, every human's different. So your biology is going to be different than mine. And so you're going to want to notice that first couple of weeks, your energy may dip. And anytime you're losing weight, and especially if you're on a GLP-1, whether it's trizepatide, uh, semaglutide, retitrutide, you do want to make sure that you're counting your proteins. There's a lot of criticism in the social media world around like Ozembic and Manjuro and Zepbound. But I believe these treatments are one of the biggest medical breakthroughs of our lifetime. And I say that because you're more likely to die of obesity related diseases than you are of starvation. And what's happened is this sensor in our brain has been broken called GLP-1 and is broken because we have access to food all of the time. And so what happens is if you can get a better expression of GLP-1, that's when you start to notice that oh, I'm, I'm actually don't need to eat. I don't need to be munching on something all the time. And maybe I can, instead of eating everything that's on my plate, Maybe I eat 80% of it because I'm full, I'm satiated. So it fixes that hunger and it removes willpower from the equation. The big risk you have when it comes to maintaining your energy is your body's ability to maintain the calories that it needs to function. Because one of the things we want you to do is we want you exercising what we call the 30-30 protocol. So 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon or the evening, make sure that you're getting outside and exercising, going for a run, a walk, a hike, mountain bike, cycle, whatever you love to do, and then hit the gym, You know, get some hypertrophy, build your muscles because the three organ systems that retitrutide impacts dramatically is your brain, your heart or cardiovascular system, and your muscles. And it does that by fixing this metabolic pathway. And metabolic dysfunction is at the core of almost every single disease. And one of the fastest ways that you can accelerate aging is by having a disrupted metabolic function. And it's the fastest way you can get really tired. Even if you do eat really clean, if your metabolic system's not working properly, you're not getting the energy into the mitochondria. And so the thing I love about retitrutide is it is a triple agonist. So you've got the GLP-1, so it does mute hunger, but not as dramatic as trizepatide or semaglutide, but it, it also has the gastric inhibitory polypeptide, GIP, 
and that's about eight times stronger than the GIPN trizepatide. So you get more insulin stability. And when you have insulin stability, when you can get insulin into the cell, you're going to see that your blood sugar stays more even. And the energy crashes that we have, if you look at those throughout the day, it's usually because you have low blood sugar. And then when you have low blood sugar, like let's look at cortisol, which is a stress hormone in your body, when blood sugar drops off a cliff, you wanna go eat something. And so you'll go eat whatever you can get your hands on, whether it's good for you or not, because you get super ravenous. And when you have stress on top of that, stress triggers this process called gluconeogenesis, where now your liver wants to push sugar into the bloodstream. So even if you don't eat sugar, you can still have like prediabetes and dysregulated metabolic function. And so what reditrutide does with the GIP is it creates more stability there. So your blood sugar, if it stays even throughout the day and we're a CGM, try this experiment, get a continuous glucose monitor, and then you can see what foods do to your blood sugar. It's very simple because you'll be shocked at foods that you know maybe your spouse can eat a bowl of rice and her blood sugar stays nice and even, you eat the bowl of rice and it spikes. There's been studies where they found people eat ice cream and it doesn't cause a spike, whereas other people eat ice cream and they end up in a diabetic coma. So continuous glucose monitor can really help if energy stability is a goal of yours, which any time you're thinking about health, I think of health as your body's ability to generate energy, having a great lifestyle, and then having fun experiences that you're looking forward to. And those fun experiences, they, you know, part of your purpose of life. My purpose, the reason I make these videos, is because I wanna help as many people as I can transform their health. You can't do that if you're getting misinformation. And you can't do that, especially if you don't have great energy levels. So why is Red uh, something that helps with energy production? Well, it comes down to the mitochondria. The mitochondria, what makes energy in the cells, you remember it as the energy system of the body, it's the uh, engine of the cellular respiration. What glucagon does, that third peptide in this, you know, we, we call it a triple agonist, glucagon actually can stimulate some of the PGC1 alpha genes. And PGC1 is what allows your body to turn on the process of mitochondrial biogenesis or the formation of new energy centers. So it's like putting batteries in your cells and many of us have felt it over the time, maybe over several decades, is you just feel like your energy is getting lower and lower and lower. But the thing that Reditrutide can help you do is put energy back into those little battery packs, especially if you add in methylene blue. Methylene blue, and once again, this is not medical advice, so talk to your doctor about this. If you're on an SSRI, do not take methylene blue. But methylene blue, it loads up that electron transport chain that feeds the mitochondria energy. And so you get all these electrons pushed in there and then it activates the five cytochromes in this electron transport chain. Add in some ubiquinol and maybe even like some SS31 to repair the mitochondria, some 5-amino-1-MQ to activate NAD from your own body and to activate AMPK. And you'll notice a substantial difference in your energy. But at the core, reditrutide, does it stabilize energy? Yes, in the clinical studies. One thing they found, and this is called the TRIUMPH study, and they found that individuals using reditrutide, they found that their blood sugar actually was more stable. Their hemoglobin A1C was able to drop, and it varied on the dosing that they were using. But they did find that once your hemoglobin A1C, once it's stable, then that's where your body can have more stable energy levels. And so it did this at certain doses. Two milligrams was not as dramatic as four milligrams. Eight milligrams was definitely more dramatic based on how high your hemoglobin A1C is. So once again, if you can get your blood work ran, you don't wanna drop your blood sugar too low. You don't want it to be too high. But if you get your blood work ran, then you can know exactly what you need so that you can have great energy all day long, no crashes, no yo-yo effect, no withdrawals by using some of these novel peptides. So if you love this video, you wanna go deeper, what I've done is created a video on how many milligrams of Reditrutide should you take. I'm Reagan Archibald, I'll see you on that video.